On this episode of Climbing Chronicles, we are in Barcelona, Spain. The world's best climbers will compete for top spot in the finals of the World Cup Series in lead climbing. We also accompany climbing all-rounder David Lama on one of his alpine expeditions. And we get an exclusive insight into what goes through the minds of the athletes as they prepare for competition in the isolation zone. David Lama is an exceptional climber, so good in fact that he's often referred to as the wunderkind of climbing. Yeah, I don't really like the expression wonderkind. I think you can say it in the beginning of a climbing career, but by now I've really achieved a lot, so I shouldn't be referred to by that nickname anymore. David has not only won all possible titles in the youth ranking events, but in the adult events he was the youngest World Cup winner in history as well. Furthermore, he is the only European champion in both bouldering and lead climbing. When he's not climbing, David can be found fishing, although not as often as he would like, as he's been climbing since the age of six. When I started climbing, the sport wasn't really that popular. It all happened by accident. My parents knew this Austrian climber, Peter Haberler, who took me to this climbing camp where I learned my trade. He always managed to keep up with me, and that's when I realized he was an exceptional talent. He had a lot of balance and showed no signs of fear. Peter Habler was proven right. David climbed his first 8A at the age of 10. From Tyrol in Austria to the Mediterranean Sea, Barcelona, Spain. The season-ending event is the last chance for competitors to show off their skills. Almost 80 athletes are vying for the title that might see them climb the ranks of the world's top climbers. The one who climbs highest, the quickest, will walk away with the crown. Those who fall, however, will have to wait until next season. The world's top three are all hungry for success. Third-placed Sachi Ama of Japan has already identified an advantage. In Japan, uh, the wall is really short, so I normally train on the short wall, so it's my side. Second-placed Ramon Julien Poublanc is counting on home advantage. Here my friends and family can watch the competition, and that's really special for me, and it motivates me a great deal. Austrian Jakob Schubert has already won the overall World Cup, Although, everybody wants the perfect end to the season, and a victory here would be really awesome. For David Lama, nearly every competition season ended perfectly. I think in competitions it's all about the performance. You train the whole year for five minutes when you have to call upon all of your skills. Calling upon his skills is what David Lama is good at, something his dad is very proud of, and something his coach, Reinhold Scherer, taught him well. When you look over David's results, there are only first places. He still needs a world champion title, and then he will have won everything. I'd like to win the world championships, but really, I see my future outdoors, in alpine climbing, what I do for the majority of the year. The Saigwand in the Zillertal Alps is one such example. The big walls help David find the charm in climbing. Climbing isn't materialistic. What makes it so special? Climbers don't care about five-star hotels. You just go climbing very spontaneously. And you sleep somewhere outdoors in the bedroll. Eat a pizza. In the evening you just hang out with friends. You live an easy-going life, being free to make your own decisions. Back in Barcelona for the last World Cup in lead climbing this year. First up is local favorite Ramon Julien Pugblanc. 
In a crazy second qualification, 32 athletes managed to reach the top, but Ramon didn't, failing to clear handle 29. If he wants to win in front of his home fans, he has to top right now. And the Spaniard manages it. Japan's Sachi Ama has to give everything as well if he is to challenge for the Barcelona title. He too manages to get through. Now it's up to Jakob Schubert, who's watched his competitors already reach the top. If you know somebody topped already, it's not a great feeling. It doesn't motivate you and the pressure gets stronger because everybody wants to be the first to reach the top and impress the audience. He may not be the first to climb the course, but if Jakob wants to win this event, he'll have to reach the top at some point. And Jakob manages it. Aside from the three favorites, Canadian Sean McCall and France's Manuel Romain climbed to the top as well. All the competitors in finals are all really strong. Uh, they've all been in the podium before. Uh, some of them have won, and uh, it should be a really good battle in the finals. But before the fight for the win can start, everybody wants to be the first in the so-called observation area. The athletes have six minutes to imprint the final route in their brain. This is a high-speed memory game. Six minutes seems like a long time, and when you get out there, it seems to go by pretty fast, but uh, I usually start by proving the whole route by myself, and then I go over it with another competitor. And if there's ever a problem, we're not discouraged to talk to each other, so usually I'll ask my other competitors, hey, how are you going to do this? And uh, we're all good friends, so we usually figure it out together. The athletes have to remember about 30 moves on every route. I remember when I started climbing, I didn't have any chance to remember all the moves. But you gradually get better and better at it. You practice all the time, and nowadays I don't have any problems in sticking to the route in my brain. After the observation, the climbers have to go into the so-called isolation zone until they are called up to climb. Every second is valuable. We try and focus on the route in our minds, although in the final, there will often be handles that you don't expect to be there. All climbers use this time in different ways and develop their own style. I live for competing, I live for climbing, and uh, so before that, I'm trying to remember that. I'm trying to remember all my coaches and my family and, and how I got here, and then, uh, and then really, I just, I just want to have fun and, uh, and climb my best. All competitors will be giving their all, including recently crowned world champion Jakob Schubert. The three peaks of the Dolomites in northern Italy. David Lama wants to climb the West Peak. To explore something new has much more appeal to me than doing something where I know the ropes and where I know where all the limits are. It's far more challenging this way. Every time is a challenge. The process of planning a difficult route and how to approach it. You also consider the equipment that you need. There are so many variables and aspects, and that's what makes climbing so special for me. David wants to scale one of the most difficult climbing trails in the world. The Bella Vista is a trail that was first climbed by Alex Huber. It's located in the upper 10th difficulty level. And the thrilling thing about the Bella Vista is that the trail is only safe with normal hooks and friends, but not with bolts. David is a free climber. He only uses hooks and friends for safety reasons, not to climb up. Therefore, he only uses the rock in his ascent, something he will also adopt on his next expedition. One of the biggest projects this time is for sure the Cerro Torre. 
I will go there again in January and try to climb the Torre free. I think it's possible. I started the project two years ago, and I didn't know anything about the Torre besides it's a mountain in Patagonia. Indeed, no one has ever free climbed the Torre, and that's the appeal for David. Back in the gym for the final of all finals. In Barcelona, the best climbers in the world are fighting for the last World Cup event of the year. Now on the wall is Spaniard Ramon Julian Pugblon. He badly wants to win at home. After a decent season this year, Ramon is in good form and manages to get to handle 52, almost the top. Ranked third overall in the world, Japan's Sachi Ama has also had a good season despite never claiming a first place. Today, he is looking to change that and get the better of his rivals. Disaster strikes for Sachi, who only manages handle 50. Jakob Schubert has to climb higher than handle 52 if he wants to beat Ramon and win the season finale. He has already claimed the overall World Cup title and can climb relaxed. This time, he only manages handle 52 in the final. Ramon Julian Puigblanc wins his home event. I'm really happy because all my friends and family were here to support me. It's really important. On the podium in Barcelona are the top three in the world rankings. A quick reshuffle sees them take their final places in the current season. I'm totally happy about the season. I can't put it into words. If somebody told me that the season would run like this, I wouldn't have believed it. It's incredible. I'm very proud of myself. In the overall rankings, German climber Thomas Taupon overtakes Korea's Hyun Bin Min. The rest of the world rankings stay the same. And again, the pictures of the day.